Hi, my name is Ksenia Sidorova and I play the classical accordion. And I would like to tell you more about my instrument, which uh, the modern version of it looks like this and uh, sounds a little bit uh, like this. I'll play something that I warm up with and it's actually a folk tune. <laughs> So this is a folk tune, a Russian folk tune, and this is something that accordion is very well known for. Um, it's popular in many, many countries, but it actually was originally patented in Austria, in Vienna, 1829, only as a left-hand side. The right hand used to hold it, and this would be the accompaniment for songs. Since then, the accordion developed into this massive, huge box with a lot of different sounds and different keyboards. It became a very popular instrument uh, in the second part of the 20th century, um, particularly after the Second World War, when people used to take this instrument to the forest when they fought. And this was their sorrow, this was their joy, and it, it became an instrument, uh, literally, that people played from parties to funerals to weddings and so on. So it's it's still very, very famous on the streets and you can see it a lot on subways, metros, tubes around the world. And uh, it's the cliche that the classical accordions try to move away from, but I think it's a great part of uh, our history and uh, it really showcases accordion from all sides and it's an instrument that speaks to many. In the second half of 20th century, we got a new addition to the accordion, which changed its course uh, drastically and uh, made it the classical instrument that we know nowadays. And I'll show you the difference with the original, the keyboard that we used to have, the so-called umpapa. We suddenly have a whole range of four and a half octaves of single notes, which enables us to play different kind of repertoire. For example, before you would have folk songs and the schlagers to play, which were really popular in, uh, in pop music world, something like this. This is called Flick Flack and it actually used to be also played on a timer. It's a sort of a flight of a bumblebee for accordionists. But with an appearance of the new keyboard, we got a fully polyphonic instrument with two manuals, which enabled us to play pieces like this. And so on. Uh, so we suddenly have a lot of new doors open for us and for the composers um, who wrote new music for this instrument and the composers alike of Gubaidulina and Berio contributed to our uh, wonderful instrument that now can be heard all over the world on greatest stages. So this is what the accordion box looks like and the three main parts to remember are the right hand side which is the piano keyboard can also be a button keyboard, um, the bellows, which act as a bow for a string instrument, for example, and the left hand side, which is the buttons. This is the biggest uh, size accordion that you can have. It has 120 buttons on the left hand side and 47 keys. Uh, of course, they, they exist in smaller version, and if you're a child, you begin in, with, a, with a much smaller accordion, and it's, um, it's quite comfortable, I can say. <laughs> to produce sound on the accordion, you need to do a few sing things simultaneously, such as pull the bellows and press on the key. Uh, obviously, if you don't pull the bellows, for example, and press on the key, nothing will really happen, so pull and press. <laughs> Um, and by bellows, you're controlling the sound, the dynamics, and obviously the, the touch that you, that you want to produce. The range of the classical accordion is quite wide. You can have anything from as low as this, in the left-hand side, 
to this in the left hand side. And the same thing happens in the right hand side. Do really high notes and Also, new composers like using all, all kinds of uh, weird sounds on the accordion, such as this one. Which reminds you of the sea, of the waves, or of the wind, whatever it is. With, with the development of the instrument and the keyboard, uh, which still continues to develop every day, the new um, materials are being used, uh, and manufacturers work closely with the performer, um, it made the, the road for the accordionists and the composers much easier. And now we have a lot of new pieces. Um, and I will give you an example of one of my favorites. It's by Frank Angelis, a French composer, who is also an accordionist himself, so he knows the instrument quite well. And it will be a Fantasia on Astor Piazzolla's theme, Chiquilin de Bacin. <laughs> 